crystal cages, both out of plastic. There also exist webbing bags, and there also exist soft carriers with shoulder straps, with a zip top that you open, put the cat in zip. It's netting on both sides, netting on the ends, a lot of air, and it's for carrying your cat on your shoulder or putting them in the car. The idea of a cat carrier is to have the cat in safety when you're in the car or carrying them between buildings or coming into the vets or whatever. It's much safer to be at the vets because you cat, your cat carrier and in your arms. You never know what you're going to meet coming through the door or you're never going to know what's going to be waiting for you on the, on the bench beside you. So it's always better to have Mr. Cat in the cage. All cages are different types of attachments. You can put a bedding in there, you can put a towel, you can put what you need to pick up if you saw it. You can put paper. It has handles. This one is a latch. These are nice because what I like about them compared to a webbing bag is if I've got a really bad cat, I don't have to put my hands on if he doesn't want to come out. I will take the snaps off and take the top off the cage. Therefore, I take the half top off and then I just go and lift him out. He has a whole pile of air and he feels free. And if I'm going to go in here and get a bad cat, I'm going after a cornered animal. So if the cat displays bad behavior, I will probably opt to take this off. Let the cat calm and then try to remove them that way. And of course, the third way to remove them is gravity. If they don't want to come, you can tilt them. Often this will bring them forward, they land on the table. You close the cage and put it away off the table so that they don't have a place to run to. And then you'll be able to wait till he calms and then start doing what you have to do to them.